What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess. And we're here to talk about Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton. Plus, we're here to talk about Shawnee O'Neal and Brandy Maxiel. Okay, but first, first things first, we're gonna start this thing off. We're talking about Kenya Moore and um Marlo Hampton. Now, as you guys already know, we have been tuned in to the brand new season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and we were already hearing about the fact that Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton have already fallen out. You know, they turned out to be friends on the last season and only for them to fall out again and now we're seeing the beef already brewing between the two of them once again now kenya has been doing a lot of tours press tours for the show promoting the show and doing interviews and um she recently did an um an appearance on the wendy williams show um, which was guest hosted by her um, former enemy, Michael Rappaport. And she was talking about, um, you know, Portia. She was talking about um, Phaedra. And then she talked about Marlo Hampton, okay? Now, what I got here is an article from the jasminebrand.com, and we're going to get right on into it. The article reads, The Real Housewives of Atlanta frenemies, Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton, appear to be at odds once again. During a recent appearance on The Wendy Williams Show, which was guest hosted by Michael Rappaport, Kenya Moore was asked if she missed Portia Williams being on a popular Bravo series. Portia Williams appeared for nine seasons from 2012 to 2021. Before leaving to become the face of her own spinoff, Portia's family matters. Kenya Moore answered, I definitely miss Portia in general. What she brought to the show was different. What Nene brought to the show was different and is unique and you can't duplicate that. In the same breath, Kenya Moore accused Marlo Hampton of wanting to be like the former Real Housewives of Atlanta cast made Nene Leakes. Nene Leakes left the series in um, September 2020 after appearing in seasons 1 through 7 and 10 through 12. Kenya said, I think the problem with some of the girls this year... Well, I can just say one like Marlo, you know, it's trying to be like Nene. You know, you'll never feel those shoes. So just stay in your lane or, you know, behind bars. So um, here is what she had to say. I got the audio right here. And this is what she had to say, y'all. Let's get into what she had to say. You guys are like almost like the Ali Frazier <laughs> of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Epic battles. Do you miss Portia on the show this season? I definitely miss Portia in general. Her, you know, her, what she brought to the show is different. What Nene brought to the show is different. Um, and it's unique. You can't duplicate that. Um, I think the problem with some of the girls this year, well, I can just say one, like a Which Marlo, one? you know, it's trying to be a, like a Nene and it's like, you'll never fill those shoes, you no. know, no, you'll never fill those shoes. So just, you know, stay in your lane or, you know, behind your bars. But anyway, yes, I believe that, you know, for me, <laughs> for me, I just think that this season is so fresh. And so now you guys have seen the episodes. They are everything. It's yes. great energy this season. During the season 14 premiere on Sunday, May the 1st, Marlo called Kenya a has-been back. She said, no matter what, what Kenya says bad about me, I know you are a has-been with your new money. Two women previously on each other on social media in 2021 despite claiming that their feud was a thing of the past. Season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is Marlo's first as a peach holder and full-time cast member, a step up from her previous role as a longtime friend of the show, okay? She made her debut appearance in the fourth season of the show in late 2011. She was introduced by Nene Leakes and, like her friend, is recognized for her style and ability to throw shade. Marlo was previously asked how she felt how she believed her fellow castmates would feel about her promotion, to which she replied, Kenya dagger to the heart. I'm here, bitch. Move over more. Make room, diva. I feel that Candy is happy, but I feel that it was a shocker. I feel that Sheree is super excited about me having a peach. Do you agree with Kenya Moore's statement? I'm going to tell you just like this. I definitely believe that Marlo really believes that she's Nene, and I definitely believe that she was looking to be Nene. And I just feel like at this at this particular time, I just think that um in your first season as a peach holder, I would think that you focus more on trying to make yourself relevant and not making past cast members relevant and not necessarily making other cast members relevant, but just be yourself. Like you were yourself when you had, you know, that plum that you finally turned into a peach. So why don't you just, you know, be yourself now? And Marlo has always been a person to me that was always camera hungry and she never came off really authentic to me. It's like she was always doing things for a moment all the time. And I just never fully 
disrespected her and I know that she just came on the scene. People used to big her up so much, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like bigging her up, like acting as if she was just this the best thing since sliced bread or some shit like that. And it just didn't make any sense to me. So I was just like, girl, like, why don't you just be yourself? Like, why are you doing the most? Why are you, you know, trying so hard to be something that you ain't like you're not Nene, so just stick being who you are. Stick with being a girl from St. Petersburg, Florida with all of the mug shots for cutting people up and slashing their face and shit like that. You know, do that. Like, don't focus on, like, being Nene because that's exactly what you're doing. And I'm going to need for you to just really stop. Uh, um... I'm going to need for you to just really be yourself and stop trying to be a camera hogger because that's exactly what you're being. And I'm going to need for you to stop it. Like, stop. Because it's coming across very inauthentic and it's not real. Stop. That's all I got to say about that. Like, she really she really does need to stop, though, for real. She does need to stop because, you know, you would think that being your first time having a pee, you would think that she's trying to, you know, bring something different, you know? Bring something different. Not trying to be the same person that she was before. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's just thirsty Marlo. You know what I'm saying? Thirsty ass Marlo. But next up, we got Shawnee O'Neal. You know, the woman that I can't stand. And um, she was talking about, um, she was talking about two things. She was talking about why she still participates um, in Basketball Wives. She speaks on being in love with her new man. She talks about um, why did she decide that decided that Brandy should come back to the show. And she kind of confirms a new Basketball Wives spinoff, okay? Now, <clears throat> now we're going to start this thing off with her talking about why she still participates in Basketball Wives. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into that, okay? So let's get into it, you guys. You are obviously an executive producer of the show, um, and you don't necessarily need the publicity or the check or, you know, anything that may come with the show. So why do you participate in the show? Well, we, I participate because that is kind of the ask of me. And we're in a partnership with this, mm -hmm. right? When it comes to, I don't, I don't have to. If I say absolutely no, they will respect that. But I think sometimes certain situations take a nucleus and the smart thing about a network is they kind of see that like listen i know you probably don't really want to but can you come in and and just be the the neutral space for everybody to come to and then you can go walk away if you want to but <laughs> it's just more a, of a strategy than a necessity if you if, if that makes sense Yeah. Um, but as you can see this season, you know, I don't I don't choose to be there as much. I, I don't I think the new faces come in and just let them do what they do doesn't me. Uh unneeded. <laughs> let now I've taken the role of if you need me, call me. Right, okay. right. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Have to mention, obviously, you seem so happy and in love, you're engaged. <laughs> What does love feel like for you at this stage? Ooh, um, love, love feels easy. Mm. Uh, I think that he made it easy to love him, to, to love the relationship. Um, and I don't know. The older you get, you just realize what's important. You realize how to communicate with people. You realize how to you know, overcome obstacles in relationships. It takes work, but it shouldn't be hard. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be a, a T. It can be tedious. It shouldn't be so stressful or hard. Or just or it's people. consumed. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and work that I want to go to. Work that yeah. I want to show up for, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Love feels peaceful and easy and so good and it keeps out on my face I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else oh my god okay so can we expect like a pastor's wives <laughs> or oh first ladies no, no no I mean I'm sure somebody is going do it but it ain't gonna be me I will not be responsible for that you are 
Okay, so she was basically saying in so many words that the reason why she participates in the show is because that's what the network wants. And at the same point in time, I feel like this. Okay, I kind of understand why they would want her to be a part of it. I mean, you got a show called Basketball Wives, and you got this woman here that was married to Shaquille O'Neal. And how can you have a show like Basketball Wives and not have the woman that was married to Shaquille O'Neal be the person that sits in the middle? You know what I mean? So I definitely understand that. But Shawnee just needs to get on about a business. We don't like her. We don't want her here. And that's just the facts on facts. We don't want her there. We don't want her here. You know what I mean? Like, that's not what we want, girl. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that, baby. Okay? We just don't want that. Period. That's just how I feel about it. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but she seems to be very happy with the man that she's with. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, if, if she happy, I'm happy. You know, hopefully that means that she's not a bitch because that's definitely what she's portrayed herself to be for a mighty long time now. And, um, you know, I guess I can be happy for her on there even though I don't like her. But, you know, we ain't got to see her um, for her for the whole season. I mean, she pops up in the, on a limited basis, so I'm good with that. So next up, she's going to talk about Brandy and her past with Brandy and how she was able to, um, how Brandy was able to get her job back. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. Let's talk about it. I know people are probably wondering why you brought Brandy back. Obviously, you guys had that infamous, thank you for your services moment. <laughs> you guys are all good with that we've seen. Um, so, but why do you think she agreed to come back and why um, was that extended to her following how everything left? Well, I think it, that's how everything left with the audience. You know, um, Brandy and I have been grown women towards each other a long time ago. So, um, you know, I, it just wasn't on camera. So I, I think that it was only fair to extend this opportunity to her along with, like I said, we had been grown women with each other a long time ago. And, um, you know, it just, it, it was just timing. I think Brandy could have been back a long time ago, but it was just, it was just timing with, with transitions of things off camera. But Now, uh, here she is, and I'm so glad that she came back. Yeah. And uh, she has a whole different storyline. Shawnee is not a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so in so many words, she's talking about it was time for Brandy to come back. But, what, but why was it time for her to come back now? Was it time for her to come back because you said it was okay for her to come back and you are cool with her now? And that's why she's coming back because, girl... You know, you tried to fire her season four. They brought her back season five, and you even said you didn't want her to come back season five. VH1 stepped in and said that <laughs> they wanted her back. Then season six, you, tr you and Evelyn both tried to keep her and Malaysia from coming back to the show. And, you know, at first it worked, but then with the people that you had on the show wasn't working out, they brought Brandy and Malaysia back. So because you didn't want her on the show, you decided to come this whole theme of okay, it's not fair. Okay, you sit Malaysia and you heard that I don't that you don't want Brandy around and we won't have to film her. So you have your sisters and trans. You got and you got me who didn't want to film with her. So when uh, when the key people don't want to film with you, then it's kind of like when the when the people when the key people don't want to film with you, it's kind of like okay. um at this point, there's really no need to have her on because nobody wants to film with her at this point in time now. So it's like, why is she here at this point? So in, in, a, in a different world, that's how people are going to look at it. Like, you know, the main people don't want to film with her. So how is she going to stick around and get screen time? So because you, Tammy, and Evelyn were the main people on the show running the shit, that was the most airtime she could get. So even though Jackie and Malaysia was just fine with filming her, that wasn't enough because the rest of these were new. So you got people, you, Tammy, Evelyn, and you got Jackie Malaysia. That's two. So 
Yeah, that's why the screen time is going to diminish. So, okay, because y'all are cool now, it's okay for her to come back. I don't know what's going Listen, I don't know what's up with Malaysia and Brandy. Like, how could y'all be cool with a bitch that sat up there and told y'all y'all didn't have no substance and that's why y'all couldn't come back? And now y'all want to be cool with these same girls. I just don't get it. Hey, whatever. Um, And the last thing about Shawnee that we're going to get into is her talking about this spinoff that she got coming up for Basketball Wives. Let's get into that. So, you know, we in the neighborhood and we're on the streets that I know that it is a new season of Basketball Wives filming right now in Orlando. And I wanted to know, since this is the 10th anniversary, will this be the last season of L.A.? Not if I got anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's not totally true. And this is not the last season. It's, it's not... I mean, although same franchise, two totally different cities, the X one out to do another. But I wouldn't say a new season mm-hmm. is is filming. We're 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 testing the waters. Got you. Yeah. So with those new young girls, will a OG come to show them around the ropes? Mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll need an OG to to come show them. <laughs> <laughs> You might need them to just let them know how it works and just dip out tonight. Um, so that's pretty much the tea of it all. Now they're trying to ask about why it's Orlando, and um, Shawnee was like, "Well, of course, you think I think you're going to need like an OG to really, you know, do this and do that and all of this other stuff." And I'm just like, um, "Girl." The only person that I know from the Basketball Wives that lives in Orlando is Royce. So just like you gave Brandy back her job, does that mean you're going to give Royce back hers? Because that's the only way I watch it. I'm just being honest, okay? So with that being said, y'all, that's pretty much it um, for today's Yes for the Mess. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys are um, tuned for another one. Um, I did say that I wasn't going to push out any more content tomorrow because I was trying to get baby fuck it i just said let me go ahead and get them something to watch for today you know what i'm saying <laughs> let me go ahead and get them something to watch for today and just do it right before i go to work okay so with that being said you guys your boys out of here be sure to like rate comment subscribe share this video click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops honey and also um be sure to follow me on all forms of social media my twitter my instagram and my brand new tiktok all of that will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boy is up out of here. Shout out to you, Team Scotty, and shout out to the people that are subscribing to me today. Today. I'm out of here, y'all. Until the next one, I'll holler at you later. Peace out.